Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Bit of a different video today because we are talking about some scandalous black market stuff that is going on in FIFA, all right? This is not a normal market video because there is a black market in FIFA that is being exposed. We know that it has existed, but today a lot of stuff is being brought to the light about icon moments cards and especially involving people at EA Sports. Yes. The rumor is, and honestly, the facts are showing that people at EA Sports are, in fact, putting Icon Moments cards into people's clubs on tradable for money, right? Somebody is using their uh, position at EA Sports. They're using their ability to work on the game and to move cards around and working at EA. They're using that power that they have to drop cards in people's accounts and sell those on the quote unquote black market. Now, of course, we got to talk about why this is happening and um, how this has even started, right? Because it goes back a long ways. This goes back to FIFA 19 when Icon Moments cards were first released. And why does this even happen, right? We have to talk about that too. Well, let's let's start at the basics, right? Let's start about the basics. This has been going on since FIFA 19. People are selling Icon Moments for real money because they're so rare on the market. They're so hard to pack. And honestly, if you look at it from a cost of value perspective, it's so much cheaper for you as somebody who wants to go like a pro player or somebody with a lot of funds that wants to play with the best players in FIFA. It's so much cheaper for them to actually go and buy this player on the black market than try to actually pack it, right? You could spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in FIFA points and never even pack one Icon Moments card. Whereas you could go on the black market and buy one of these R9 Ronaldos for $1,700 uh, or whatever it is. I'm going to show you guys some screenshots in a second here showing and exposing some of the stuff that is going on. Now, it's again, it's getting brought into the light though today and in the past day or so because there is new information showing that it's not just like people packing these cards and then... Um, trading them on the market like people will pack r9 ronaldo and they'll say hey i'm gonna sell this guy for a thousand dollars they'll list it up the guy who paid a thousand dollars will try to snipe it probably using a snipe bot so that he gets the snipe guaranteed and then boom he has that card in his account tradable but the thing that's coming out today is an ea employee who has the power to do it is putting them on accounts untradable right? Because he has that power to do that. And of course, in his mind and on the market side of things, he's not impacting the market by, you know, putting tradable R9s on the market or tradable icon moments on the market. He's putting untradable ones. So let's take a look at the facts, discord screenshots and some DMs that we have with some people that there's this guy, whoever, whoever this guy is that works at EA and then there's contacts that know him and these foot players are dealing with the contacts and then the contacts then get the information, right? So this is from Nick28T, Dennis Foot Trader has been posting some of these uh, from discords and from screenshots that people have had um, on Twitter. And this is, this is the big thing, right? There's a guy that I know, he claims to have a mate who works at EA and he can load any player into account. Obviously he charges. I verified the, the legitimacy of these different accounts by jumping on SharePlay. He's known, he's shown me first owner on each player and each player played almost the same amount of games. Crazy. So this is basically confirmed that it is legit. And you're like, yo man, this can't be, this can't be real, right? Well, look at these DMs, right? A web app showing of all of these cards being added to an account untradable. You can see by the little, the little small uh, yellow icon, that's the untradable icon. And then you have DMs like this, how much we talking for untradables? A thousand for two moments, 1400 for three moments, 1700 for three moments and two team of the years. I sell them for that. And then we have one more screenshot of somebody else showing Ronaldo, Croy, Vieira, Ronaldo and Mbappe being added to their club. It's crazy, right? It is crazy, ridiculous. Some of the stuff that goes on in the FIFA black market. And again, the reason why I'm making this video today is to kind of expose it a little bit. Obviously, it's been exposed all day today on Twitter, right? It's been all over Twitter and tons and tons and tons of people are talking about it. But I want to talk about the why this happens, right? I want to talk about the why. We all know that it's pretty scummy, right? It's pretty low. It just, it's, uh, well, obviously it's 100% against EA's rules. It's 100% against their terms of service. And if this guy, whoever it is at EA ever gets found out, I'm not sure how he's doing it and hasn't got found out, but if this guy ever gets find, found out, he's gone. And that's what makes this situation super duper interesting because all of this, of course, is breaking the rules of FIFA and of EA and of FIFA Ultimate Team, but now that it in, 
you know, involve somebody at EA, will EA respond differently? Because they've never talked about this stuff. They've never mentioned it. You know, they do ban coin sellers. They ban uh, people that have, you know, tried to, or they say transfer coins, right, with their automated banning systems. But this is different, right? Because this is bringing up all that stuff into the light, you know, because all of this kind of falls under the same category of the black market in FIFA, coin buyers, coin sellers, transferring coins and transferring cards. But this is different because somebody at EA is involved with actually putting cards on to people's accounts. So again, EA state that no cards in FIFA can be exchanged for monetary value. Nothing in game can be, once it's in the game, it can't be exchanged for monetary value. That is against terms of service and all of that, right? That's why they introduced price ranges back in FIFA 15, right? FIFA 15 was the first year they introduced price ranges because what they were doing was trying to combat coin buyers and coin sellers. And all they did when they did that was actually grow the coin buying and coin selling markets because even more and more people are involved in that today because people realize that the value of buying coins costs way less money and you get way more for your dollar than if you buy FIFA points with that same amount of money. And that's why that market in the black market on FIFA continues to grow. Now, I'm, I'm not for that market. I'm really not. That's why you never see me promoting coin buying. I don't even promote FIFA points. And that's why this hits a little bit harder for me is because we're trying to do things, quote unquote, the right way. You know what? If you're going to spend any money on FIFA, I would rather you spend it on FIFA points so that you at least don't run the risk of being banned. And I feel like this could be a starting point where maybe EA Sports says, hey, we got to crack down a little bit on this because we know it's getting out of hand. And now there's somebody involved inside of EA. We got to crack down on this. So I'm, you know, if you're somebody who uses short foots or if you buy coins, just be careful, all right? I, I never really promote that stuff. I'm not about it because I don't think putting your account at risk, especially for somebody who likes to play this game year in and year out, uh, you can get banned from this game 100%, like IP banned for some of that stuff. So just be careful, and that's why I'm not about it. But this whole, the reason why there even is a motivation is because it's ultimately EA's fault, right? We're, we're not sticking the blame to anybody else here but EA Sports. They have caused this sort of, of mantra to be like even acceptable. The fact that you can buy these cards for real money or the fact that coin buying is a thing, it's because EA have set up the game in the way that they have. Yes, it makes them a ton of money from lightning rounds and from packs because the way EA have it set up is you start with like the gold card. Every single year, we're all pumped about like cheap beasts, right? Or Mbappe's gold card or using Rashford's gold card. But every single you know week with, with a new promo, with a new team of the week, EA is trying to get you to upgrade your squad, right? to get the better players so that you can get more wins in foot champions in the competitive game mode that it, basically this game is centered around foot foot ultimate team is centered around foot champs if you kind of if you look at it that way it it impacts the market what cards are meta what cards are the best to use it's all about wins scoring higher more goals and and placing higher in foot champions so ea have us on this power curve of wanting to get better to win more games to get better rewards and more coins and getting the best players possible in our teams and of course especially for pro players or players that have a lot of this they want to have good teams too they want to have fun right because you equate fun with winning games in fifa so and the way the gameplay is the better team you have the more games you're most likely going to win so that's where all this kind of demand and desire is coming from because people want to play with these cards they want to win they want to use them and they want that flex in their club so they're willing to pay that dough and they're willing to risk their accounts to go out and get some of these cards. So that's where the whole demand again comes from. And you're like, why would somebody even do that? Well, that's why right there. So I just kind of want to talk about that as well. Now, what's going to happen from this, right? Of course, since EA, since we have some stuff going on here, this is not the only thing that EA does, right? People like there's people that unban accounts uh, for money. There's people that, you know, there's, there's, it sounds like there's some scummy stuff that goes on inside of EA sports. So it's just, it's hard to know what all is true, of course, 100%, but um, the black market on this game is, it's thriving, I'll say it that way. It's crazy how well that it is doing, but of course, this is going to bring a lot of that to light. Now, if there actually are legit people inside of EA, which it seems like there are, if they're putting untradeable cards on accounts, which is something EA has to do, right? Now, let's not, let's not take this out of proportion. EA does put untradeable cards onto accounts for pro events when they put on like uh, events where they load untradeable cards onto account and then they have people come in and play on those accounts. That's the thing. So EA has the power to do it. But also now, 
it's getting out into the mass public for EA Sports, which is what with this whole black market thing is going on anyway. So I honestly don't think we're going to see anything from EA. I don't think EA tweeting out on their main accounts. I mean, EA Sports FIFA on Twitter has 8.2 million followers. How many of those 8.2 million followers do you think even care about this or even know about this? So small of a percentage are the people that actually care about this. You guys watching this video, all right? We're such a small percentage of the FIFA community. I don't think they're going to tweet anything out about this, right? I was even surprised when they banned Kurt, to be honest. They tweeted that out on their main EA Twitter. But I don't think we're going to see anything from, the, from then on this. The only way we're going to know if any of this is getting sorted or, or getting handled or getting resolved, I guess you could say, is if we start seeing this stuff stopping behind the scenes. If EA somehow um, are able to crack down on like the coin buyers or on not necessarily coin buyers, but that guy that is inside of EA Sports that is doing this, if they can find that guy and crack down on it, that's like the only thing that I feel like could possibly happen from this. What's going to happen, honestly, in my opinion, is we're going to see nothing. Nothing's going to happen. There's going to be a bunch of hoopla. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to make this video and I'm going to expose this and we're going to talk about it. And then nothing's going to happen because in reality, it's just a trivial part of the game of FIFA where EA is really not worried about it because it's not affecting their bottom line that much. Uh, does it re does it make a bad reputation for their game? Absolutely, it does. It does not bring good light to their game, especially to the community that is in the game and uh, how careless it makes them look, I guess you could say in a sense, uh, with this stuff going on which if they were unaware of this before, well, now they surely are after today on Twitter with all the screenshots that I showed you. There's a lot of other screenshots that are out there, uh, but I wanted to get this video out pretty fast just to talk about it and to talk about what is going on. Now, of course, a lot of the hype around the whole black market with the icon moments and stuff like that is because these cards are like brand new. These cards have only been on the game for a couple of weeks. People want to get their hands on them. They want to try them out. That's why there is this demand that there is right now. So, of course, as we go on throughout the year, there will be more icon moments Ronaldo's that will be packed for lucky people on this game that somehow are able to pack some of these insane icon moments cards. Uh, they'll pack them and they'll get tradable. They'll be on the market. They'll get supplied. But right now, as they're still super duper rare, especially for those top tier, high level, high level cards, um, you're going to see a lot of people paying big money for those on the black market and uh, and trying to get them that way because that's kind of the only way that they can get them right now. And I'll, honestly, I wanted to uh, take a look at this too. Just one quick thought that I had is uh, if this account right here that we just showed a screenshot of with the with the Ronaldo, I don't know if that's a moments Ronaldo or R9, you, got, you have the Cristiano team of the year, Bruno and Mbappe. If that's one of these accounts, I'm pretty sure one of these was dated, yeah, 223 of 2021. That is February 23rd. One way you could uh, legitimately prove this is true is if we saw the dates on these screenshots, because this right here, team of the year was what, like a month and a half ago? If this screenshot is from like two or three weeks ago, then 100% you could confirm that these are untradeable cards being put onto the market uh, by some employee at EA because Team of the Year cards are obviously out of packs and they have been out of packs for a long time and they were not in packs during the time that Icon Moments were in packs. So that's why seeing all these cards here, um, that's what's fishy about it and that's what make it, makes it so legit. All the screenshots that we've seen all the, the, the stuff in the pictures and all that's been going around, it's legit, right? This is legit and it is happening. And uh, I'm curious to see if we ever find out if this does get sorted out at all, but you're probably not going to hear anything from EA. I would be very surprised if we do. But again, the bottom line is be careful with your foot accounts, right? I just wanted to make this video to talk about what's going on, to speak about it and just talk about the why, right? To just expose it, talk about the why. And unfortunately, tell you that probably nothing is going to happen because of this. So we're going to keep going about it the right way. We're going to keep making coins and having fun on the game, analyzing the market, trading cards, and doing it, quote unquote, the right way without even having to spend any money on FIFA points. That's what we do around here. If you guys are new to the channel, we don't spend any FIFA points. We trade, we um, analyze the market, buy low, sell high, invest, flip, all that good stuff because we know that you don't have to spend money on this game. You spend a little bit of time learning the market and boom, you can make really easy coins very quickly. EA has made it almost easier than ever to make coins this year in some areas of the market because of the content that they put out. So I just want to make this video quickly today to discuss what is going on. We'll be live on stream soon. 
make sure you click that link down below in the description down there. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, hit the thumbs up, comment below if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you later. Peace out.